Hello everybody. It's a good day to make some soap. We're making goat's milk blueberry today. So as you can see, I've already started here adding the lye to my goat's milk. And the ice cubes are almost all um, heated up and melted. The lye is all in here now, the solution. So I'm just stirring it and making sure all the lye crystals are dissolved. Um, it's not, it's very cold, it's not uh, heated or burning or anything, so there really is no rush. I'll let it react and dissolve as we talk. This is blueberry soap. I'm preparing this for the summer because I'm going to be at my local farmer's market, and I think that this will be something that people will, very, will enjoy very much. And I'm going to use this fragrance oil. I'm going to smell it right it now. It smells. It is sweet. It smells just like, to me, it smells just like blueberry sauce. So if you go out to a restaurant and they have pancakes or waffles and they'll have an actual blueberry sauce, that's, this, that's what this smells like to me. It smells wonderful. I love it. It's very nice. And I'm also going to have, um, usually I don't use colorants in my goat's milk soap, but I am today. I'm going to use, not in the whole batch, but in just some portions, some titanium dioxide. I'm going to start with that and go get some more. I need to take a trip to the city. We actually have that planned for a few weeks from now. And this is, I'm going to add just a little bit of this blue to the piped topping. So I'm going to add some titanium dioxide and a little bit of this blue to make up the pipe topping. Uh, they'll be mostly raw batter. And I'm also going to have a small bit of the white mix with poppy seeds. This is to simulate um, blueberry seed and hardly any. It's not going to be very much at all. Uh, it's nice that ex the poppy seeds are exfoliating. So they're quite nice and it should give just a nice visual change, a little visual effect in the soap, adding some poppy seeds. So I am almost ready to go. I'm going to just stir this up a few more times, let it, uh, let it react and warm up the ice cubes. And I'm going to go right now and measure my oils and I'll be back with you in a moment. I get to stick blending it will all break up and blend in quite nicely so don't worry if you see some solids reforming so let's make that smell see how the lye is dissolved and I'm going to strain it just to make sure I don't get any particles I smell a little bit of ammonia today, but that will go away. It won't remain in the soap.
up with stick blender. You can see it's nice, it's like a pudding consistency. Nice color. I've added the fragrance to this one. Fragrance is not in that one. Um, just in case it darkens, I'm not going to add it to the piping. And I'm going to split this up in two more parts again. So I'm going to put the piping aside. Piping will have no fragrance in it. It's just going to be a blue, blue topping. Just to make it a bit pretty. Add just a touch of volume, make it look nice. So I'm going to split this up. Mostly batter. And that one's going to be the white one with the. That one's going to be just white to do some swirls. And this one's going to be white with some poppy seeds. Not very many poppy seeds at all. And then that batter, that piping is going to be blue. So that's one with poppy seeds. White. I think I made a bit too much of that one. Just like that. And raw batter. I'm going to set the raw batter one aside because we don't need it right now. So, white with poppy, just white. I'm going to add just about half, just a quarter of a teaspoon of the titanium dioxide to each, hardly any at all. Just a little bit of color. white in. Okay. Here's my topping. The piped. It's going to be a bit of blue. I'm making a mess today. a little bit of blue. I just sprinkled it in there, eyeballed it. I'd say it's an eighth of a teaspoon if I were to measure it. <laughs> it is perfect. It's a nice blueberry color. <laughs> and it's okay to stick blend this one too much because I want it to thicken faster. I, ha I want it to thicken to be like icing, and so the piping bag works the same as, as icing would. The more you stick blend, the faster soap sets up. So here is my blue. It's just very pretty light blue, ultramarine blueberry kind of. This last. 
and I'm done with the stick blender. What we have left is the poppy seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle them in. Not very many at all. And then I'll go get the mold and we can finish making this soap. Pretty simple soap. Now it's going to have a luxurious smell and look. Maybe a few more. Put them enough that it's noticeable that, you're, that it doesn't look like it was, so it doesn't look like strange particles. You can actually tell this is an intentional feature of the soap. So here you go. Handful of them. This is going to go first. Oops, <laughs> I just put some, sorry, put some puppy seeds in that one. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> that's going to, I'm going to do the batter, add this, a spoon swirl, add this, and then the blue piping. So I'll be back soon. I'm just going to get the mold. Okay, we're ready now to pour into the mold. I have it lined with freezer paper, shiny side up. I made sure it's all tightened. My mold has these butterfly bolts on it, so double check that they're all nice and tight. And here's, I have my raw batter here. I'm just going to simply pour that in the bottom. Right now it's a nice orange color. I'm going to stop there. White. I'm going to pound this down first. I didn't, it's very fluid, so it's unlikely it's going to have bubbles, but now I'm going to just go across like this. I just want wispy swirls of this white in there. The closer you go to the mold, It'll stay on top. So I've done some where it sunk, and then I'm going closer. It will so it will stay on top of the batter. And I have my spatula here. It's my spatula to get the last of that layer. Scrape that out and a spoon. Swirly, swirly without dropping the spoon. Swirly, swirly. Won't know till I cut it how this works, but. Looks pretty on top. It's nice swirls. Now the layer with the simulated blueberry seeds. A little bit of whisk. I'm going to go very close to the seeds on top. Actually, I'm going to use my spatula. Here it is. So this will break up the energy and it will sit on top. Some of it might break through, but that's okay. As long as it doesn't sink too far into the soap. I want this layer more or less on top with its little hint of seeds and just some visual interest. And then what comes next is the blue piping. It smells fantastic. It really, it reminds me so much of blueberry pancakes. Maybe a blueberry muffin. It's just, it is a wonderful smelling soap. I think that this one, sorry, I kind of blocked your view there. I think 
When I block the view of one camera, I'm going to switch to another. You might notice that. I think this soap will be very popular this summer. I'm also going to make a water-based one that I have called Berry, Berry Burst. Even though my stepson tells me that's the name of a drink, I don't think they're going to sue me for selling 12 bars of Berry Burst in Cold Lake, Alberta. It's not a drink, it's a soap. Anyhow, <laughs> I just, I came up, I wanted it to be BB, you know, two Bs. It's Berry, Berry Blast, is that what I said? Berry Blast or Berry Burst, I forget which name I gave it. I have it written down. I just wanted the double B. So it's still pretty fluid. It's going to take, I think, about half an hour for the, um, I'm going to chopstick that. It's going to take about, it will take about half an hour for that blue batter to be big enough to pipe. So I'm going to let this sit here. Um, I'm going to just let this one go through gel, please. Fighting with gel phase, with milk soaps. Um, I should have it in the freezer right now. If I was, actually, no, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to get it in the freezer. So, looks pretty just as it is. All right, I'll be back in about half an hour to pipe the top. to cut the loaf of goat's milk blueberry soap. This is what it looks like. You can see I did not pipe the top. It wasn't setting up and I really had to go to bed. It had been, you know, at least an hour of waiting. So I did a swirl on top and it is very pretty. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the appearance. Um, it's a strange thing. I can smell blueberry. I put in the Max suggested fragrance. You know, I put in a lot of fragrance oil into this and it smells like blueberry when you smell the loaf but I cut off a piece here and you know I don't smell blueberry but I'm going to um, refer to my focus group also known as Aaron and see if he smells blueberry um, you know not everything needs to be extremely overpowering I made these little soap cakes I call them little small guest bars they're so pretty uh, from extra batter and it smells like blueberry it's just it's odd, the oddest thing when i cut into this i don't smell it but let's cut it anyway and it might end up being a very low fragrance goat's milk soap still it's a wonderful soap so it's a question for everybody while we're talking about that what do you when you're shopping um, you know what matters most to you in a soap are you looking for is the, the appearance of the soap is, is it the um, artisan artistry of it it's wiping off my cutter here or are you looking for the, the smell fragrance um, fragrance is very important to me I mean, First thing everyone does when they come up to my booth at a craft show is smell the soaps. Everyone just wants to grab them and smell them. So, this is what they look like inside. They look like exactly what I wanted. I am actually so surprised that they're so pretty. I did not, I didn't put these in the freezer. So, um, if they went through gel phase, they didn't darken up. You can, you can see a circle here. Looks like it went through partial gel. 
I just put it on the kitchen counter and let it be. And I am very happy with how the soap looks. And as I was saying, are you looking for the fragrance of your soap? Is that what matters? Appearance or the nourishing? Or do you want all three in one bar? So I'm trying to provide all three in one bar. Um, well, that's pretty. Look at that one. So my white, remember I didn't want it. It fell a bit more than I wanted it to. So I should be pouring. Oh, I remember I put the spoon in it. So I think I really, really did a good job there swirling with that spoon. But I like it. I just wanted to settle a little break in appearance from the raw batter. Yeah. There we go. Not too much. Still not smelling blueberry, but I have been packaging soaps all day. So my nose might be ruined just from that job alone. I'm getting ready for next weekend because I'm not going to have much time all week. I work all week and I'm going to be not make the same mistake last year where I left it and I was up all night the night before the craft show so I didn't get any sleep and I did my best. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm getting the packaging. I leave the packaging to last so the soaps have maximum time to cure outside of packaging. But That's what I've been doing all day. <laughs> it's, it's very sparkly. It's on my finger. It sparkles. So I've been packaging soaps and um, working on videos. Pretty much all look the same. Very pretty. I'm happy with the appearance. This is exactly what I wanted. But, um, maybe this is a better fragrance oil to use in melt and pour. Things stick in melt and pour better. Or perhaps as it sits here and on a day when I haven't been smelling soap all day, I may actually smell these properly, like a normal human would. I haven't ruined any of these yet. And looks like I've got a piece for me at the end. And I guess another question, if fragrance is what you like, how fragrant? Um, can you just you need it to be overpowering or you just want a pretty fragrance. There we go. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching and take care, everybody. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.